Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and we're going to do how to do a VHS rewind effect. So, uh, this one's not going to include sound. I'm going to do one about rewinding sound differently. Uh, my VHS player didn't play any sound when it hit rewound. I think that's a, a mismemory from a lot of people, but I, maybe older ones did. Ones from, like, the early 80s or something. But mine, um, mine never did, so... Uh, we got a clip right here. It's just a simple clip. So motion, forward motion. I just want you to be able to see something that can be cl that's clearly rewinding in front of you, so you can see the effect. Uh, so just a short little clip. You can do this with as long or as short of a one as you want. This is going to be a bit different than the pro effect, uh, and we'll talk about that in a second. But for the most part, you can do this 95% the same. So right click and copy your source whatever whatever it is you're going to be rewinding if you need to cut out that clip or whatever make go ahead and do that then go to the next clip and hit paste so here we go now we can see the clip is doubled we're going to right click the new one and hit reverse now Vegas always struggles a little bit reversing clips. Sometimes it's nice and smooth, sometimes it isn't. The one I was doing in Vegas Pro is 4K. I rendered it down to 1080p to make it a little smoother. It, the, if you're having trouble viewing it, you can go to Draft and Auto, and that should help clear up the speed. So you can kind of see what you're doing a little better. We're also going to talk about pre-rendering too, um, but let's keep moving on the effect itself. So now we've simply got a rewind effect where it starts rewinding. That's easy enough, but this isn't anything VHS about this. VHS would never look that clean when you're rewinding it. So we're going to dirty it up some. One of the first things you're going to do, my VHS would always get darker. If yours gets brighter, um, then you would want to use white, but mine always got darker. So I'm going to go to Media Generators, Solid Color, and I'm going to drop that Solid Color in a track above. Actually, I'm going to drop it in the text track, and I'm going to delete the Picture-in-Picture -picture track because it's always in my way. So the Picture-in-Picture -picture track is right-clicked and deleted. The text track is where I'm adding this white right here. And I'm going to drop the opacity to about 10%. And that brightens it up if you think it should get brighter when you're rewinding. Mine got darker, especially because it was only displaying about half the image because of the interlacing. So I'm going to click on this generous media, generated media button, and I'm going to slide the slider all the way down. Now I'm adding black over top of it. So adding the black over top of it definitely darkens it a little bit, which is what I want. So I'm going to hit X right there because I'm done with that one. I'm going to right click on this text uh, track, which is which could be anything. That's just a name. It doesn't matter. Arbitrary. So we're going to right click on that track and hit insert video track. And then we're going to add titles and text. And I'm going to shorten this to the length of the clip as well. And we're going to type R E W all caps with a backwards uh, with a less than sign, less than sign, uh, and that is a, what a typical kind of rewind would look like. You can, if you you know, match whatever settings you want. Uh, they're usually they're kind of a rounded, um, rounded interface text. So there's there's all sorts of ones that might work. I found this that one looks kind of like it there's another there's a rounder one too that's not it maybe that ooh that's a good one something that looks kind of basic no serifs nothing fancy just something a VCR would overlay as it does it so now we've got it rewinding but you're realizing something it's miss it's not dirty and it's not fast here's how we can make it faster if we grab this clip right here and hit control and we shorten it then when you hit 200 percent right there in the bottom left hand corner then that's roughly twice as fast rewinding it you can even go faster than that if you want 250 percent and you simply just drag these effects to match so now we've got the speed ramp. Now, this is what's different than Pro. In Pro, we can kind of make it ramp up speed where it starts a little bit slow and then goes faster. Uh, and you would do it with velocity. There is no velocity in Movie Studio, so this is the way we're doing the effect. It's All right, so now we've got the rewind effect. It's a little choppy, but we, when we do the pre-render, you'll see that the choppiness is just uh, all these effects added on at once. 
but you can arrow through and see that we're rewinding, it's faster, and we got to rewind in the corner. One last thing, you need to go to Video Effect, and you can hit grab this TV simulator and drag it on the reversed clip. Now we gotta do some work on this thing. First, lower your aperture grill like a lot. Also, lower your interlacing a lot. You want to mess up with your line sync just a little bit because your VCR heads tend to do that when, when you were rewinding, but not necessarily a lot. Like you, you uh, unless, you know, that's that's up to you how exaggerated you want this effect, right? But this is really what's going to give you that scrubbed head look, adding a little bit of line sync. The vertical sync is where it, like, doesn't quite show the right part of the image at the right time. That's not uh, what we're looking for, I think, for a rewind. So I wouldn't touch that. You do want a little bit of scan phasing because that is an it, that would be an effect of scrubbing the tape past the scrubber a little too fast. I'm gonna kill this phosphorescence all the way though. I never had like increased phosphorescence just because I was reversing a footage. And then, but you do want to increase the static because that is another symptom of it's not grabbing all the information from the head from the reader head as it's scrubbing backwards. So. Uh, now what we're going to do is I want you to be able to see all this in its entirety so I'm going to grab all of it and we're just going to pre-render so when you hit grab it all and you hit selectively pre-render it doesn't matter what you select for the pre-render it just matters that you select something that will create a good crisp image that so you can really see what you're doing there and so now let's watch it from the beginning All right, and that is how to do a reverse effect. You can do that as long or as short as you want in Movie Studio 16 Platinum, and I like it. I think it's a good-looking effect. What I want you to realize, too, is is the sound part of it. This, has, this clip has no sound. Uh, I'm going to do another tutorial about reversing sound and increasing the pitch on sound and things like that. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you're new to editing and you want to learn more, you can always check out my Udemy course where we go through uh, not just the basics of the software, but we edit three projects together and we learn a little bit about editing theory as well. Anything you buy through my affiliate links helps us out. This is part of the video marathon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one.